temperatures in the, the weather in the Okanagan and British Columbia in general. No floods, no major fires. It's actually pretty okay. And I mean, just the fact that it's the mid to end of October right now and we're still riding relatively lightly clothed. Like nothing too major. Like I don't even have my heating gloves turned on. It is crazy. I think it's about 20 degrees or such right now. It's just a perfect riding temperature. I hope you guys can hear me well enough. Like the wind today is a little bit annoying. And we have all these open, this open valley here that kind of just lets the wind pass through so fast. When we look at the forecast, it says that the temperature is supposedly dropping big time by next weekend, which means we are really thinking this might be the last bigger ride or longer trip on the bikes for this season which is very very sad like I have no idea where the summer went it just went by way too fast still can't believe that this landscape is in Canada it just looks like the wild west <laughs> and yet I have never been on this road here before it's highway 3 basically from Karameas down to Asuyas and we just got that recommended the other day by a neighbor of ours actually and we're like you know what it's close by wineries are all along the way so let's see and try this road here and so far it's not disappointing the landscapes and the view are pretty spectacular and like i said it of course helps that it's blue sky and a sunny warm day <laughs> If you're brand new to my channel, first of all, welcome! <laughs> you now found a motorcycle channel that is, a, first of all, all about motorcycles and exploring beautiful British Columbia or the Okanagan and Canada in general on two wheels or four wheels if you count Andy in two. <laughs> if this is the first video of mine you see so far, you probably missed or don't know just yet that we also have a Golden Retriever puppy. Well, Golden Retriever dog, not a puppy no more. Um, no, no. And we're in the works right now to actually be able to take your own motorcycle trips with us. I will have a couple of videos linked up here in the corner that explains a little bit how and why. But if you're interested in seeing in general like what we're up to, especially next year now with the new trips, and exploring British Columbia, like I said, and, and all the amazing sceneries, maybe even going down to the US next year. Oh man, so many possibilities. But yeah, make sure you hit the subscribe button. <laughs> oh no, there was a bug completely just exploding on my windshield. <laughs> Spotted Lake. I don't see it really. Ja, das Six ist ein bisschen. Oh, warte, ich glaube, da ist actually noch das Ding drin. I can't believe it. <laughs> you need a bike with a windshield, that's what you need. Yeah. And he's 
so it's very unlucky with stinging little insects. <laughs> Moon cursor vineyards. One more click. Moon cursor. Well, let's see if we can be appointed enough. <laughs> Time for some wine. How many? Okay. Let's go. Well, hi there. Future editing Karina here out of my living room. Um yeah, well, what do you want me to say? GoPro failed me. <laughs> Uh, so we went to the wine tasting and then when we went back on the road to stop at the Tim Hortons Of course on a road trip you always have to stop at the Tim Hortons um, But then from there when we uh, moved on and were on our way back home um, some, some, Somehow Somehow <laughs> My GoPro froze on me and the battery died and the microphone was doing all funky stuff so my See you later guys and have fun and, and good riding and stuff. Um, yeah, kind of, yeah, that disappeared on me. So, you have to deal with me now. <laughs> uh, but as a bonus, I can tell you exactly actually what this body lake is all about. Because since we arrived home, did a little bit of research and basically came across the fact that, that it actually goes back all the way to the Okanagan First Nations, which is pretty incredibly cool. And this lake apparently is supposed to have healing powers comes down to the fact that it is full of minerals so like epsom salt sodium like all this spiel and because of all the minerals it of course has the healing benefits and because of all these minerals and because they're so highly concentrated in this area it basically creates these little ponds and pools so all these little spots so throughout the summer when it gets hotter the water level basically sinks because it just vaporizes in the air and then during winter times it kind of just starts to fill up again and because of all these minerals and how the light reflects on it and shines on it it has different color spots and the legend says every spot has its own healing powers and specialties if you will so pretty freaking cool so if you have a chance when you're around this area stop by it's about what 10 kilometers away from the cities. so really just in the neighborhood there and the highway 3 down this area too phenomenal riding except that on this day it was very windy but again something that we can bear considering we rode there at the end of October <laughs> okay but that's it now I promise I hope you're having tons of fun out there and this video was more or less entertaining and educational as well <laughs> but until we see each other in the next video i hope you're riding safe out there if you still can um right now when i'm filming that we already have snow outside so it's kind of yeah <laughs> and if you can ride year round i'm definitely jealous <laughs> um but yeah we'll see each other next week bye